So, lads, today, the final Rush set came out in my team, lads. The final one. So, this is the last of the Rush sets. We're probably not even getting them in Season 6. And, yeah, um, the cards kind of suck. Like, he's okay. He's terrible. He's pretty good. He's not good. And the um, these guys suck as well. The, uh, the Amethyst. So, let's see how long this is going to take to do. At least if you haven't completed the Nebula agendas, you can get them from, like, you can get the Rush players for them, I guess. So, this isn't too bad. Where is Rush 5? When... F <sighs> Excluding challenges. Like, why? What is the... Point 2k. What is the point? Like, this challenge, this goes from being completely fine and doable, like, to just tedious for no reason. Like, all these excluding challenges things are just tedious for no reason. You've added five domination games in. At least. Are there any easy piss? Are there any good business players? Like you've added five Dom games in, which is so annoying. Not, and, like, look, I don't mind. I wouldn't mind if this didn't say excluding challenges, by the way. Because one, it would be quicker, and two, for those that want to do domination games, they can do it anyway. This is just adding, this is just discouraging people from doing this grind. And, like, I actually get it. There's no multiplayer here. That's a positive. Multiplayer things discourage people from doing the grind. There's none. Has nine of the last ten of these cards have been offline only? Why? What about the people that over the last two weeks you forced into beating on into beating domination? They gotta just replay the same games over and over again. This is painful. And you might be saying, oh, you can do unlimited, you can do salary cap. I wanna show you guys what Pistons players exist in this game. Let's see, just from my collection. Um players. Team Pistons. There are, as far as I'm aware, there are like no good Pistons players. He sucks. He sucks. He's pretty good. Um, he's mediocre. He sucks. He's at, honestly one of the best. And all these guys, you, you can't win with these guys in salary cap. Like if you end up with Pistons players in salary cap or limit, you you're not gonna win. And then what other players in the player market do I not have that are Pistons players? Um, Chauncey Billups. Is that all I'm missing? Chauncey Billups. I'm missing Chauncey Billups and then we're at Rubies. Like, what are we talking about here? Like, at least you can buy a bunch of these guys for 525 MT. You can buy a whole bunch of Pistons players for 525. And you can get 10 of them like that and just win your domination game by just shooting with any other player from your collection. But, like, why, why is this excluding challenges? You've literally just added two hours to a grind for no reason. And, by the way, like, let's take into account that this grind here was less than three hours. Like, this grind... Sorry, with the 100 blocks, about three hours. And these cards were so much better than these cards. So, this itself is... is two and a half hours, like. Win 15 clutch time offline games using five Warriors players or online. I like the way it's online, but using five Warriors players... Um, what am I talking about? That's easy. Like, look. Players. Team Warriors. I, you've got these guys great, but, like... This dude's like 3,000 MT. You can just win offline shooting threes with Steph Curry. Um, trying to think who else is there that's really, really cheap. Um, Pajemski, 800k. 800 MT. Jesus, not 800k. 800 MT, you're good. And you can just fill in with some gold players. You're going to be fine. So that's just going to be tedious. Like 15 clutch time games is... If you, if you, by the way, if you can do this, this is probably the quickest way to do it. If you're able to shoot by speeding up the games, the easiest thing to do is speeding up the games. You can speed up the games and get in and out of there in about four minutes or so with, if there's no fouls. Um, so being able to speed up the game is going to be big. But if you're trying to run with staff and trying to shoot jump shots, speeding up the games might be hard. If you're wondering what speeding up the games means, for clutch time on offline specifically, if you go into features, settings, and you put game speed to 100. 
So if you put game speed to 100 here, um, you're looking at... Um, is it really not letting me get in the game? Basically, the players move fast. So let's just go clutch time. We should have a team. Yeah, I'm just going to show you guys. Just watch the way the players move. This is how long ago it's been since I played the account. Yao Ming was the last gameplay I did. Just watch this. Did they fix it? Oh, no, they fixed it, I think. I think they fixed it. Damn. I think they fixed it. Either that or I've done it wrong. So, the game speed thing doesn't work. So, this is going to take about two hours. Lads, we're at, four, we're at four and a half hours and we haven't even done any of the others. Surely you can combo up, but we're at four and a half hours. Oh, my God. 50 dunks are multiple games. Easy. And you can do that in this. 33 pointers. You can very easily do that while getting these. Get 30 rebounds. So, these are all easy. These are all easy. Win 10 TT offline games using three Spurs players. Um, if, there's a th if there's a Spurs player, you just run down and shoot. You can get this done in 25 minutes. It's about five hours. It's about five hours, which is grim. I'm not going to lie. Like, five hours is grim. So, I want to see what, like, really... Are there any really easy players to just chuck threes with for the Spurs? Um, none that I can see right here. Because he's expensive. Um, Sean Elliott, maybe, on the lower difficulties. But yeah, you're not um, you're not going down and Kyle Corvering people with the Spurs. So those 10 games, maybe if you have Danny Green, but still, I don't even think he does. Yeah, there's none of these guys that are just running around Kyle Corvering people. Um, with three Spurs players, your best bet is probably um, Sean Elliott for 875 MT if you're on the cheap. And he's probably going to, you're probably going to take, oh, let's just say 40 minutes for that. So it's probably about five hours. It's probably about five hours for this card. And it's just, it's actually just not worth it. I actually just cannot stress it enough. Like, it's not worth it unless, unless you're just going to get it anyway. Like, if you're going to go and get, um, <coughs> get the card anyway, or if you really want Dennis Robin, or if you have a whole bunch of free time. If you have a whole bunch of free time and you're you're cool with killing a few hours to get the cards, go for it. Um But yeah, that is that's all I'm gonna say. Like I'm not uh I'm really not happy with this grind compared to last week's grind. This is the second worst grind we've seen. The worst grind we've seen by the way, the worst grind we've seen was the Danny Granger one. This is the second worst. Because the other, well, this is the worst card other than Granger, and this is the second longest grind. Legitimately, the two worst cards have had, actually, no, this one wasn't as long as the Austin Reeves grind, but still, about five hours, not worth doing. Really not worth doing.